Hello, and welcome to this introduction to Arink 717. You may find related products for Arink 717 at the Excalibur website, www.mil-1553.com. Arink 717 specifies an avionics communications bus used to transfer data from a data acquisition unit, or DAU, to a flight data recorder. The DAU is usually located in the cockpit in proximity to the various avionics unit it gets its data from. The flight data recorder, or black box, is usually located in the back of the plane regarded as the most survivable part of the plane since planes tend to crash nose first. Note that flight data recorders are not only useful in the event of a crash, they are also analyzed for safety data on non-eventful flights. Their analysis can lead to finding small problems before they become big problems. Black boxes record whatever the plane manufacturer regards as critical safety-related data over the entire flight. This will include data such as position, heading, and acceleration, as well as discrete data such as the state of the landing gear, the flaps, etc. The exact data will vary for each aircraft type. Arink 717 data is divided into 4 second frames and 1 second subframes. A specification for each aircraft will describe data types based on frame, subframe, and word. For example, subframe 1, word 8, bits 1 through 10, may contain fuel quantity, and subframe 2, word 15, bit 7, might indicate whether the landing gear is up or down. Data can be repeated multiple times within a single subframe. For example, if we wish to record vertical acceleration every 125 milliseconds, we can place it at every eighth word within a 64-word subframe for every subframe. On the other hand, data that never changes might be recorded only once every 16 frames or 64 seconds. This means that frames and subframes are really only mechanisms for locating data and are not related to the frequency of transmission as they often are for MIL standard 1553 data. Though a word in ARINC 717 is 12 bits, data may use more or less than that. Latitude may use 17 bits and span parts of two different ARINC 717 words whereas discrete data may require only one or two bits. Now on an oscilloscope, we see only a constant stream of data. There is no physical indication of where a frame, subframe, or word begins and ends. So how do we know when a frame begins? The first word in each subframe has a constant value. The receiver hardware has to look at every incoming bit and see if it is consistent with fixed values it is looking for. If it sees the first sync pattern and exactly one second later it sees the second pattern, etc., Till the fourth pattern, it knows that a new frame will start exactly one second after the beginning of the fourth pattern. The receiver needs to remember four seconds worth of data to do this. Unfortunately, early versions of the specification wrote that the subframe one code was 1107, but were not clear as to whether the first bit transmitted was the leftmost bit called the most significant bit 
or the rightmost bit called the least significant bit. So of course some companies interpreted the spec one way and others the other way. Later versions clarified that the least significant bit should be transmitted first but most equipment manufacturers will be flexible enough to allow both possibilities because of all the equipment manufactured with the other method. At the bit level, ARING 717 recognizes two encoding methods for distinguishing between a 1 and a 0. ARING 717 equipment is expected to have a primary output port that transmits Harvard biface encoding and a secondary port that transmits bipolar return to zero encoding. Harvard biface encodes a 1 by changing value in mid-bit. The cross may be going from 0 volts to plus 5 volts or from 5 volts to 0 volts. A 0 is encoded by not moving in mid-bit. It may remain at 5 volts for the entire bit width or at 0 volts. Bipolar return to 0 or BPRZ is similar to ARING 429 encoding where a 1 is encoded as 5 volts and a 0 as minus 5 volts. Between each bit the signal returns to 0 volts. ARING 573 is the predecessor of ARING 717. It has 32 word subframes. ARING 717 started with 64 word subframes and has doubled that number several times until the current revision, revision 15, calls for a 1024 word subframe. The Airbus A380 uses 1024 word subframes. Since each subframe and frame contain different data type, it is important to always know which frame and subframe you are looking at. Simple time tagging enables the proper drawing of graphs and indicates if data was ever lost. IRIG time tagging can aid in making connections between 717 data and other data on the aircraft or off it. If you would like to see a list of our ARING 717 products, please visit our website. If you have any questions or comments, you may find our contact information at our website, www.mil-1553.com. Thank you.